Hey guys, before we get into this week's video, we want to announce the winner. It is Sam James Evans. Keep an eye on the comments below. I will reach out to you and we can get these Alaris custodians sent off. Today's game should be an epic one. It is the Space Wolf, my own Vilka Fenrika, run by Lloyd this time, taking on the Adeptus Custodies. So, enjoy the video. Welcome to today's battle report, where the Adeptus Custodies take on the Space Wolves. Who will win? Find out now. Starting with the Adeptus Custodes, they are under the sub-faction Dreadhost. They are led up by a shield captain on Dawn Eagle jet bike. His warlord traits are superior creation. His relic, Auric Aquilus. On to the first of two four-man custodian guard squads. They are all equipped with guardian spears. Four custodian wardens, all equipped with Castellan axes. We have a three-man Alaris Custodian squad, all equipped with Castellan axes. Onto the Space Wolves, they are led up by a Wolf Lord with Jump Pack. He has a master crafted Thunder Hammer and a Storm Shield. His Warlord traits are Hunter and Wolfkin. We have a Wolfguard Battle Leader on Thunderwolf. He is equipped with Lightning Claws. He has the Relic, the Armor of Rus. Onto the troops, we have a five-man assault intercessor squad. The pack leader is equipped with a plasma pistol. Onto a six-man grey hunter squad. Pack leader is equipped with a power fist. Onto the elites, we have Murder Fang. He is equipped with the Murder Claws, Flamer, and Stormbolter. We have a three-man aggressor squad, all equipped with Boltstorm Gauntlets and Fragstorm Launchers. Finally, we have four Thunderwolves. Three are equipped with Power Fists. The Pack Leader, equipped with a Thunder Hammer. All are equipped with Storm Shields. So, for today's Open War match, we will be using these set of cards. We have the deployment there, which we will go over in a second. Uh, we are playing Incisive Attack, which means we will place three objective markers. One here, this is number one. The second one here, this is number two. And the third one just over near Lloyd there. That is number three. At the start of each battle round, we will roll a dice and it will randomly determine one of those objectives to be active. And that will be worth two victory points. The other objectives will be worth one. And then for the twist card, it's invigorated, which means that all movement, that is move and advance, will include an extra inch. So it should be good for getting both these forces into each other's front lines early on. We'll roll to see who goes first and then I'll talk you over deployment. So I got a four, uh, Lloyd got a one. Now this is open war so you can choose. Now going second actually gives you quite a big advantage in this game as you will get the last movement, the last action before the scoring and it does start at the end of round one. But it is a small board and the Space Wolves are very nasty in melee. So I will be going first with the Custodian Guard. Uh, let's talk you over deployment. So for the Custodies, I've started with the first squad of Custodian Guard down in this corner with the Wardens behind them and the Terminators. I'm actually starting on the board there. Behind them, we have Shield Captain Preston Frost. And over in the corner, we have the Custodian Guard squad there. Onto the walls, Lloyd has deployed in a in quite an aggressive line. Starting down here, we have this uh, just utter death pile with the Wolf Lord surrounded by his Thunder Wolves and the Wolf Guard battle leader. Murderfang hanging out in the center himself, looking to get possibly a turn one charge into the face of this death pile over here. Uh, this side of the board, we have the Assault Intercessors backed up by the Aggressors and the six-man Grey Hunter squad, all looking to possibly secure that objective for the Space Wolves. So, uh, the starting CP will be four for the Custodian Guard, as I will be spending two on Victor of the Blood Games to put it on uh, the Shield Captain there. And Lloyd and the Space Wolves will also be starting with four, as there was an extra CP spent on Wolfkin and an extra CP spent on giving the armor of Russ the wolf guard battle leader so we'll be right back with the custodian guards command phase turn one
So before the game starts, we need to roll to see which objective will be active. D3, number one that is. That will be the closest objective here. So we'll be right back with the custodian guards. Command phase turn one. So onto the custodian guards, command phase turn one. Nothing special happening as they don't have a new codex yet. So we'll be right back after the movement phase. Just before we do the movement, I will be spending two CP on Unleash the Lions, making this uh, squad of Terminators separate models. Do I get the CP back? I do not. So it takes me down to three CP. We'll be right back after the movement has been done. So after the movement phase for the Adeptus Custodes, the Emperor's Guardians have pushed up the board, staring down the Thunder Wolves. In this corner, we have a squad of Custodian Guard with two of the Alaris Terminators and Shield Captain Frost. Then the Wardens have moved into the terrain, the center of the board, along with the other Terminator. And over in this corner, the Custodian Guard have just moved up the board. Not sure if we pointed out terrain traits. Big building in the middle is obscuring, pipes are pipes, and then everything else is just obscuring and light like cover with the rocks, etc. So that will end the Custodian Guard's movement phase. We will be right back with the Custodian Guard shooting phase, turn one. So into the shooting phase for the Custodies, I will be spending two CP. First one on Blood Game Veterans, let me auto wound and a six, and the other one on Superior Fire Patterns. Both going on to the Custodian Guard here to give them double the amount of shots. They are in rapid fire range, so they will be getting 16. Also, one quick amendment, I'm actually uh, starting the game on one less CP uh, as Captain Commander was popped on Shield Captain Frost, giving him the ability to regain a CP on a five plus. So I am down to zero CP, and now we will start with the firing from the Custodian Guard straight into the Thunderbolts. So we have 16 shots hitting on twos, re rolling any ones, and sixes will auto wound. So let's grab the ones out first. Okay, and then we have one, two, three auto wounds. And then these are strength six versus toughness five. So these will be wounding on threes. So after counting 12 wounds on the Thunderwolves, it will be AP minus one. So it's just 12, three up, thanks to the Storm Shield there. We are dropping at four. These are flat two damage each. So that is two dead Thunderwolves, unless you want to CP one of those. Yeah. Okay, CPing, taking uh, Lloyd down to three and saving. So it's one dead Thunderwolf and one remaining on two wounds. Good start with the firepower from the Custodian Guard. I need to roll now to see if I get the CP back I use. So let's do it for the first one. Uh, I do. So that will mean I've got back my maximum one for this round. So there's no point rolling again. Uh, we're going to go straight on to the... Shield Captain, who's going to fire everything over into the uh, injured Thunderbolts. 12 shots from the Hurricane Bolter going into the Thunderbolts. These are hitting on twos, re-rolling any ones. They're all hitting. These are Strength 4. This is Toughness 5. So, wounding on fives. Oh, that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. There, please, sir. No AP. So, just 6 2-ups, thanks to the Storm Shield. On the table. <laughs> Six two ups, <laughs> thanks to the Storm Shield. Oh my lord. Three fails from the Space Wolves, taking the injured Thunderwolf out and the remaining Power Fist there, down to just three wounds remaining. Devastating firepower from the Emperor's Chosen Guardians. And we've still got more to come. We're going to start with the first Terminator firing everything over into the Thunderwolves. It's going to be two shots from his Castellan Axe, hitting on twos, re rolling ones, thanks to Frost. Unbelievably, uh, these are wounding on a uh, five. No wound there. So we're gonna fire uh, his grenade launcher as well. Sorry, I should have declared them all. So his grenades are also gonna be fired into the Thunderwolves. And I'm gonna spend my last CP on concussion grenade to try and stop them uh, throwing any grenades and also minus one to hit in the fight phase. So let's spend that CP. I've already gained mine back for this turn, so it will take me down to zero now. So D3 shots from the grenade. Uh, it's gonna be two. I just need one of these to hit. So they hit, meaning the Thunderwolves will be minus one to hit in the upcoming fight phase. 
So the remaining Terminator is going to fire his cast on an act into a murder fang now, I think. It's within rapid fire range, so we're looking for twos, re-rolling any ones. Really bad rolling with these <laughs> shots. Both hit. These are wounding on fives. Uh, no wounds. And his grenade launcher now is, go uh, is also going into murder fang. Uh, so it's three shots this time. These are hitting on twos. All hit. These are strength four. So they are wounding on fives. Uh, no wounds again. So made a fang plinking the shots off his armor. That's the end of the shooting down in this corner. So we're going to go on to the uh, center of the board. And we're going to pick some targets for the custodian wardens. Checking the range on the Terminator in the building. Uh, it's only going to be one shot. It's going to be fired into the assault intercessors. Hitting on a two. No re-rolling unfortunately. And then these are wounding on a four. Uh, no wound. So we're going to go on to the custodian guard here before we do the wardens. Um, and they are going to, if in rapid fire range, fire everything into the aggressors. So after some measuring, uh, to get maximum rapid fire efficiency, two shots are going to be fired over into the aggressors. And then the other two custodian guard shots are going to be fired at the Grey Hunters. So let's do the uh, aggressors first. These are looking for twos. All of them hitting. Then these are wounding on fives. Uh, three wounds, AP is minus one. It's just four ups from the aggressors. You are unbelievably failing two of them. These are flat two damage, so that's gonna kill an aggressor. You've spent your CP reroll as well. So we will now go the four shots going into the Grey Hunters. Uh, one miss, wounding on fours, two wounds. Uh, can you give me two four ups? Making them both. So the Grey Hunters survive in there. Uh, all we've got left are the Wardens to fire their Castellan Axes. Just the Wardens remaining to fire their Axes. They're going to fire everything over into Murderfang. Everything's out of rapid fire, so it's just going to be the four shots. They all hit. These are wounding on fives now. Uh, there's two wounds, AP minus one, so two four ups on Mr. Murderfang. Unbelievably plinking them again. He has taken so many shots this round and nothing is denting that Dreadnought armor. So, pretty devastating stuff from the Emperor's personal guard. We will be right back with the Custodian Guard charge phase, turn one. So, we're going to start down in this corner. The Shield Captain is going to be declaring the Thunderwolf and the Wolf Lord with Jump Pack. So, two Thunderwolves and the Wolf Lord with Jump Pack, trying to stay out of range of the Wolf Guard Battle Leader. So, there is not going to be any Overwatch. Two dice. He's going to make it on a seven. Uh, sorry, on an eight, because I clearly can't count. So that's how we've ended up. We are going to declare the first uh, Terminator here into just the Thunderbolts. They are going to make it on an eight again. So let's move them in, because this is quite a tight fight. The next Terminator will be declaring also the Thunderbolts. He needs an eight. We have pre-measured this out. He is getting it. I'm making all my charges this turn. The uh, Custodian Guard, really hungry to show the Vilka Fenrika why they are the personal guardians of the big E. It's looking bad for the uh, Space Wolves in this turn here, and now it's time for the Custodian Guard to declare. Uh, we're gonna go with the Thunder Wolves and the Battle Leader. Let's roll it out and we'll see what we end up with. That's definitely not enough. I have no CP, so they will fail their charge. That could have gone better. Um, we're gonna do some measuring over here now and see what the best option is for the second squad of Custodian Guard. Lloyd can heroically intervene with everything being Space Wars, and there is a stratagem which will let one of his units do it six inches, but I don't really have much more of an option. So I think I'm just gonna declare the Greys, and I'm making it on 11. So the end of the charge phase, Lloyd is using the stratagem. Counter charge, is that right? Yeah, that's correct. And who have you decided? The Assault and the are gonna count the old... Custodian Guard, okay. Um, he was having a bit of a decision, guys at home, between getting the Wolfguard Battle Leader in. He does have the Armour of Rust, which means he would have shut down some of my models, but Lloyd uh, thinks, and it's probably a good choice, that if he doesn't deal with this Custodian unit over here, the next turn these are going to get involved, and it's probably a good night. So, that will take Lloyd down to 2 CP, and we will be right back with the Custodian Guard Fight Phase Turn 1. So on to the Custodian Guard fight phase. Um, Lloyd does have enough CP to interrupt, so I feel like I have to deal with this down in the uh, in the left side. This is how the top has ended up after his intervention. The 
Space Wolves trying to hold back the tide of the Custodian Guard. So down here we are going to start with, should I go with the Shield Captain or should I go with the Terminators? Hmm. I think I'm actually going to go with Shield Captain Frost and he's going to put everything into the Wolf Lord there to try and take some damage off it. Five attacks, looking for twos, re-rolling any ones, all of them hitting. These are strength six versus toughness four, wounding on fours, re-rolling, uh, sorry, wounding on threes, re-rolling any misses. Uh, thankfully I do there. So all of them. Five saves, so AP is minus three, but you have a shield, so it's just four ups. Uh, unbelievably only failing one. Oh, <laughs> yeah. uh, this is D3 damage, and it's only one, and I have the CP. Great, so uh, that will plink one wound off the wolf lord. Now, Lloyd will be spending two CP. We know what's happening to interrupt. Yes. Who are you interrupting with? My thunder. Thunderbolts. Thunderbolts and where are they putting their attacks? Mr. Jack Frost. Okay, let's do a little bit of planning in and they will be putting their attacks into Shield Captain Frost. So the Thunderbolts are just shimmied in a bit. Uh, all of the attacks going into the Shield Captain. Who are you starting with first? Uh, Pack, leader? Pack leader? Okay, so four attacks, re-rolling any ones. These are hitting on threes. Okay, so dropping one, and then these are strength eight versus toughness uh, six, so wounding on threes, re-rolling any ones, all of them wound. These are AP minus two, so it's, oh, it's three, sorry. So it's just going to be my three up and vulnerables. I'm gonna use my blood game to re-roll, which I've done, so I fail one. This is actually flat three damage. Now he does ignore on a five and six, and I ignore two. So after all that, he takes one. Lloyd, you know what's coming. No. Unkillable. No. I dropped my dice. See, it's falling <laughs> apart. Now on to the second Thunderwolf. Three attacks with the Power Fist. Looking for threes. Rerolling any ones. Then these are wounding on threes. Rerolling any ones again. Oh my gosh. Oh my golly gosh. Rerolling the one. Uh, so both. Okay, so it's three up and vulnerables. I make them both. Now it's a six teeth and claws. These are hitting on twos and they are re-rolling any ones. Thanks to the Wolf Lord. Rerolling the ones, all of them. And then these are strength five, it's toughness six, wounding on fives, re-rolling any ones. How many have we got there? Uh, none. Okay, that was pretty good. Now it's back to me and we will be going on to uh, the custodian guard over here. After the pile in, this is how it looks. We're gonna be putting two of the Custodian Guards attacks into the Assault Intercessors and two into the Grey Hunters. Let's start with the Assault Intercessors. These are hitting on twos, dropping two already. And then these are wounding on threes. That is only the one, the AP minus three. So six up, which he fails. This is D3 damage. Uh, it's three, so it kills off a Assault Intercessor. Now the Grey Hunters, hitting on twos. All of them are hitting. Wounding again on threes, uh, dropping one, D3 each. So the first one is going to do two damage, kill a Grey Hunter. Second one is going to do three, kill a Grey Hunter. Third one is gonna kill a Grey Hunter. Fourth one is going to kill a Grey Hunter. Fifth one is gonna kill a Grey Hunter. I'm never gonna be able to roll out that again, so make the most of it now. That is five dead Grey Hunters. Okay, now we're gonna to go to the remaining uh, Terminators. I may as well do both of their attacks together, even though they are now separate units. So, eight attacks going into the Thunderwolves. Hitting on twos, re-rolling any ones. All of them hitting. These are strength eight, wounding on threes. Ah, uh, dropping one there. So that is seven at AP minus two. So seven on the Thunder Shield, four ups, please. That is a good roll. Unbelievably only failing one. This is D3 damage. It's gonna be two taking a Thunder Wolf down to one wound. It is now time for the Space Wolves to hit back. So you have the Wolf Lord and you have the Assault Incessors, and you have the remaining Grey Hunter. So who would you like to start with? My Wolf Lord. Wolf Lord, and where's he putting his attacks? Mr. Frost. Into the Shield Captain. Four attacks plus D3 for Wolfkin. It is gonna be an extra one. So five attacks coming in from the Wolf Lord. These are hitting on twos. All of them hitting. These are strength eight versus toughness six. He's a wounding on threes. Uh, don't get any re-rolls, so that is three there. D3 
These are AP minus two, and they're gonna be four damage if I fail them, thanks to the master crafted thunder hammer. So three ups. I fail one. I've already used my blood games reroll. So now it's four dice to shrug. Fives and sixes I'm shrugging. I am shrugging only one, taking three more damage, taking the shield captain down to three wounds remaining. So onto the assault incessors, looking to avenge their fallen brethren. These are looking for twos, thanks to the heroic intervention. So dropping two, uh, three, sorry. And then these are strength four versus toughness five. So they will be looking for fives to wound. Uh, two, three, four, five. So five wounds from the Assault Incessors. Looking for three ups on the Custodian Guard. I am failing two of them. These are one damage each, taking one Custodian Guard down to one wound remaining. Now we have the lone pack leader of the Grey Hunters left with a Power Fist. Three attacks coming in from the remaining Grey Hunter. These are looking for threes. Drop in two. And then these are wounding on threes. It's a wound. Um, again, I need my invulnerable or it will be a dead custody. It is a dead custody. So the Vilka Fenrika taking down one of the Emperor's personal guard. That will end the fight phase. So we will be right back with the Space Wars counter offensive. At the end of the custody's turn one, it, there is morale to be taken. Uh, can you roll a dice for the Grey Hunter, please? He is running away. Nasty stuff. So we'll be right back with the Space Wolves counter-offensive. So on to the Vilka Fenrika command phase turn one. Nothing happening. Lloyd is going up to one CP. So we'll be right back with the Space Wolves movement phase turn two. So after the Space Wolves movement phase, um, Lloyd has swung around the corner with the Wolfguard battle leader, I believe, looking at staring down Frost for hopefully a charge. Now with the Hunter Warlord trait, he's actually fallen back with the Wolf Lord because he's eligible to declare a charge even when he falls back. So that's really good uh, tactical play from the Space Wolves. Murderfang has moved up the board here to back up his brothers and hopefully cause some damage. Uh, this side of the board, the aggressors have just swung around to uh, give themselves some options, either against this death pile in the center where the Wardens and the Custodian Terminator are, or to back up their brothers that are already engaged in combat there. That will be it for the movement phase of the Space Wolves. So we'll be right back after the Space Wolves, well, at the Space Wolves shooting phase. <laughs> the Space Wolves shooting phase, starting with the Assault Intercessors pistols, firing into the Custodian Guard. So these are the heavy bolt pistols hitting on threes. Okay. And then these are wounding on fives. One, uh, one wound. Uh, AP is minus one, so it's just going to be three up from the Custodian Guard, which I unbelievably failed, taking one wound off them already. Now the plasma pistol. Supercharge. Supercharging it. Uh, it hits. I now on one. <laughs> it's wounding on a three. <laughs> It does not wound. So, that ends the pistols. Where are we going next? The aggressors. And they're going to be firing into? A big, heavy Terminator. Into the Terminator, okay. So it's going to be two uh, D6 shots from the frag. So there's six there. And then these are hitting on threes. And then these are wounding on fives. Okay, uh, two there, no AP, so two ups. I unbelievably fell one yet again. So 12 shots remaining from the Boltstorm Gauntlets trying to finish off the Terminator. These are hitting on threes. That's a pretty good roll. These are wounding on fives now. That's another good roll from the Space Wolves. How many have we got there? Five sixes. Oh, okay. If the Terminator falls to this, I'm going to be very sad. So we're looking for two ups. Uh, I fell one again, so it takes the Terminator down two. Two wounds remaining. All we have left is Murder Fang, I believe. So where's he firing his shots? Everything into the custodian. Okay, into the custodian guard. So starting with the uh, Storm Bolter. Uh, only one hit. Uh, no wound, and then D6 in the Flamer, auto hitting two shots, wounding on a four, uh, no wound. So, I mean, Mirafang's not known for his shooting, and that's why. <laughs> uh, that will end the shooting for the Space Wolves, so we'll be right back with a big offensive. On to the Space Wolves charge phase turn one, where are we starting? Uh, 
as the Gresses. Or... Gresses isn't the Custodian Guard. Yep. So they will make it on a five. Then. So next up, Murder Fang will be declaring the Custodian Guard. We measured it out. He needs a four. He makes it. And then where else are we planning? Uh, the jump pact. Wolf Lord going into the Shield Captain. Yep. Okay, so we need about a four. He makes it. And then finally, the Wolf Guard Battle Leader also into the Shield Captain. And he makes it in a huge charge. So let's move them all in and we'll be right back with the Space Wolves fight phase turn one. Starting with the aggressors, putting everything into the Custodian Guard. These are looking for threes. That is not the best start. Then these are strength eight versus toughness five. So they're looking for threes to wound. Yes. They are all wounded now, so it's making up for the uh, previous fluke. These are going on my invulnerable. So these are four ups. I am only failing the one. Uh, these flat two damage, right? So it is killing a custodian guard. Just to point out this other board, not sure if we said, but the battle leader will be shutting down uh, Frost, so he can't do anything until all the space walls have fought. So on to Murder Fang, trying to rip apart these custodian guard. Eight attacks, these will be hitting on twos. Yes. So he's hitting with them all. These are strength uh, 12, so they're wounding on twos. Dropping one. Dropping one. Uh, he gets a re-roll, as they are the murder claws. Oh, good God. There is eight of them there. These are going on my invulnerables of the Custodian Guard. I fail one, two, three, four, five. These are flat three damage each, right? Yep. That is an entire squad of Custodian Guard wiped out by Murder Fang. Devastating stuff from Murder Fang, ripping apart an entire squad of Custodian Guard. So on to the battle leader of the Wolf Lord. Who are we starting with? Uh, Wolf Lord. Wolf Lord, and where's he putting his attacks? Mr. Frost. Into Frost. Okay, so D3 extra attacks thanks to Wolfkin. Uh, it is going to be two on top. Seven attacks on the Wolf Lord, hitting on twos. All of them. Par oh, dropping one. And then these are strength eight, so they're wounding on threes. Dropping a few more there. So three going on to uh, the Shield Captain's three up invulnerable. I make them all. Tanking it there. Now we have the Wolf Guard Battle Leader, who will also be putting all his attacks into his only target there, which is the Shield Captain. Dropping a few there. These are strength four, so they're wounding on fives. Rerolling any unbelievable. Rerolling the four, <laughs> as they are lightning claws. So that is four there. AP is minus two. So again, three up vulnerables. I fail two. These are two damage, so I. Have I used my blood games? I haven't used my blood games reroll this round, as in your turn. So I'm going to use that now, which I make. And then can I shred the damage? I can. So Frost tanking everything because Lloyd, by now we all know he is. So the teeth and claws needed to finish off the shield captain. They're going to get three attacks, hitting on twos. Dropping one already. And then these are strength five. So they're wounding on fives. No wounds. So, Shield Captain Frost showing how unkillable he is. Do it, Lloyd. No. Unkillable. Killable. He's unkillable. It's on to the units that are already in combat. Uh, Frost cannot fight. Then everything else has. So, I'm going to start with one of the Terminators down here. It's, the, uh, it's a smart option, I think. And they are going to put their attacks into the Thunderwolves in front. So, it's going to be four attacks. These are hitting on twos, re-rolling any ones, so they all hit. These are wounding on threes. Three, four up, and vulnerables. Uh, you are making two, failing one, D3 damage. I need this to be a five or six to kill a Thunderwolf. Kills him off. Another Thunderwolf taken down. Now it is back to the Space Wolves. We have the Thunderwolf left to hit back, or we have the Assault Intercessor in the corner. Who do you want to go with? Thunderwolf. So the Thunderwolf, and he's putting his attacks into, I'm assuming the Terminator that hasn't fought yet. Yes. Okay, three attacks hitting on fours as there was no charge into him this turn. Then these are wounding on threes. Uh, Rerolling both the ones thanks to the battle leader. That is one. <laughs> so the AP is minus two, so I need a four up, which I make on the Terminator. Now it goes back to me and I will hit with the custodian guard over here. We're putting everything into the assault intercessors. Six attacks on the custodian guard into the assault intercessors, hitting on twos, dropping two already. 
Wounding on threes. Uh, three wounds, AP minus three. So three, six up. They are making one, failing two. These are D3 damage each. First one is only gonna be the one, so the second one will just kill off the one Assault Intercessor. That could have gone better. Now it is either the Assault Intercessor, oh, it's only the Assault Intercessors left to hit back. Assault Intercessors ready to hit back, looking for threes. Then these are wounding on fives against the Custodian Guard. Uh, three. three there. Uh, AP is minus one with a chainsword, so it's just three ups. I unbelievably failed two yet again, taking a custodian card down to one wound remaining. Mm. Uh, now we just have the remaining Terminator left, and he will be putting everything into the Thunderwolf. So four attacks and the remaining custodian Terminator going into the Thunderwolf. <laughs> Dropping one. All hitting. Wounding on threes, uh, three wounds, three, four up and vulnerables needed on the Thunderwolf. Uh, they make two, fail one, D3 damage on the Thunderwolf, that is two, taking one down to two wounds remaining. So we've just got some morale to do. Uh, how many Assault Incessors will last this turn? Uh, two, right? So they can't run because they have a leadership of eight. Uh, that's going to be it for the morale. The Custodian Guard won't be able to run. And now it's the end of round scoring and unbelievably, it all kind of fell apart. No one is holding any objective. So it will be round one, zero victory points. Both armies are too focused on killing each other. We will be right back with round two command phase for the custodies. But before we do, we need to roll for the active objective. It will be number two. So the one in the center there. On to the Custodian Guard command phase, turn two. Nothing happening. I'm going up to one CP and that will be it. So we'll be right back after the movement phase. So after the movement phase of the Custodian Guard turn two, the Custodian Guard have actually fall, fallen back. So it's a tactical withdrawal there to hold the objective. The orders have come down the Vox telling them that they must remember to score victory points in this training exercise. Then the Alaris uh, Terminator leading the Wardens has pushed up through the ruins here to stare down both the aggressors and the remaining assault intercessors. In this corner, nothing else has happened. Everyone has stayed still. So we will be going straight on to the shooting phase where the Terminator will be firing all his weapons into the aggressors. So straight on to the Terminator, D3 attacks from the grenades. Uh, it's gonna be three. These are hitting on twos, dropping one. These are wounding on fives, no wounds. And then it's going to be two shots from the axe. Oh, drop in one. Uh, no wound. Then we are going to go straight on to the Wardens who will continue and fire everything into the Aggressors. Eight shots from the Wardens going into the Aggressors. Hitting on twos. Wounding on fives. That is one, two, three there, sir. AP minus one. So can you give me three four ups? You make one, fail, uh, make two, fail one. Do you want to CP it? Yeah. Uh, fail, so that takes a aggressor down to one wound remaining. It's going to be straight on to the charge phase. There's nothing else that can fire as the custodian guard did fall back. Unless I spend a CP, which I, I really don't want to. So uh, they will be starting with the uh, wardens who will be declaring both the aggressors and the assault intercessors. So we measured it out. They need a five, but I would like more to wrap around the back. It is a five. Oh, I can't risk. Oh, I don't know. Let me see where I where that would take me and then I'll make a decision. So this is how we've ended up. Um, I will keep that roll. And we're going to go on to the Terminator who will be just declaring the aggressors. And he is definitely going to make it on a 12. The end of the charge phase. The assault incest is being dragged in with their aggressor brothers. And that will be it. So we will be right back with the custodian guard fight phase turn two. So on to the fight phase for the Custodian Guard. Uh, Shield Captain Frost will not be able to fight thanks to the armor of Russ on the battle leader. So we're going to start with the Wardens. They have piled in there. And I will be putting... Uh, mm, I'm going to put all of their attacks into the aggressors. I, oh, actually, I don't know. I tell you what, I'm going to put two lots of attacks into the Assault Intercessors and the other two lots into the aggressors. Starting with the eight attacks going into the Assault Intercessors. These are hitting on twos, all hitting. And then these are wounding on twos now. They are dropping 
two. Yes, you are right. Sorry. Six there. AP is minus two. So six five ups. Uh, saving one. No. Saving one. 63. Uh, that's going to kill the first one, which means there's enough left to kill off the remaining two. So that will be the end of the Assault Incessors. Now it is the eight attacks going into the Aggressors. These are hitting on twos. And then these are wounding on uh, threes this time. That is, again, dropping only one that time. So can you give me seven five-ups, please? Uh, no, you can not. That is enough damage as one aggressor is already on one wound. So that removes the aggressors. So all the charges have fought. The Terminator did his pile in and consolidation in this direction as the only units left on this side of the board. This is only round two and it is an absolute bloodbath. The Terminator consolidated, uh, piled in and consolidated in this direction because believe it or not, this is the only pile of units left on the board. It's been an absolute bloodbath between the Emperor's Guardians and the Vilka Fenrika. It is now time for Lloyd to choose who will fight next. So who do you want to fight with? Okay, and he is putting everything into... Okay, so we're going to grab some dice. Three attacks, hitting on fours with a thunder hammer. Uh, dropping the one, gets to re-roll the one, thanks to the Wolf Lord. Then these are wounding on threes, re-rolling any ones. <laughs> Luckily the battle leader's there. Uh, so it's one wound. These are AP minus two, so it's just going to be the invulnerable of the Terminator. Uh, which I fail. Um, these are three damage. I will I'll spend my last CP and make it. Do I get the CP back? I don't. Okay, so that keeps a Terminator alive and takes me down to zero CP. Now the three teeth and claws. Hitting on threes and then wounding on fours. Two there. Uh, so I need two four ups. I make them both. So that ends the fight in there. It will now be my turn to choose and I will take uh, the Terminator and I will put everything into the remaining Thunderbolt. Four attacks from the Terminator that has just taken the hits from the Thunderbolt, seeing if he can dish out some revenge. Hitting on twos, rerolling any ones. And then these are wounding on threes. Uh, that is three of them there. AP is minus two, so four ups. Unbelievable rolling, they tanked them all. Now it is on to either the battle leader or the wolf lord. Doesn't really make a difference which one you choose at this point. What battle leader? Okay, everything's going into the shield captain. So onto the battle leader. Five attacks with the lightning claws, hitting on threes. Two hits. These are wounding on fives. No wounds there. I guess a reroll because they are lightning claws. So one wound. AP is minus two, so it's three up and vulnerable on the shield captain, which he takes. So onto the teeth and claws, three attacks, hitting on threes. And then these are wounding on fours. Uh, sorry, wounding on their fives. So one wound, which I fail. I will use my blood games reroll, which I still fail. This is one damage. Can I shrug it? I cannot. So takes the shield captain down to two wounds remaining. Now it's time for the Terminator to hit back and try and finish this unkillable Thunderwolf. Four attacks on the remaining Terminator into the Thunderwolf, hitting on twos, re-rolling any ones. And then these are wounding on threes. Uh, that is two there. AP is minus two, so two four ups. Fail on both. You have no CP. It's a D3 damage, so he will die. Let's see how much he dies by a lot. Finally, the Terminator brings down the pack leader, who at one point I thought was never going to die. He then consolidates towards Merdefang, which is the nearest unit. And now all that's left to hit back is Oathgear Stonefang, who will be putting everything into Shield Captain Frost to try and finish him off and avenge his brother. D3 extra attacks for Wolfkin. These are hitting on twos. And then these are strength eight, so they're wounding on threes. That's a very good roll. So it's three there. So it's going to be my threat and vulnerables on the shield captain. I fail one. I've used my blood games reroll. So now it's flat four damage. Can I shrug? I need to shrug at least three of these. Oh, it was close, but not enough. Space Wolves showing why they are the executioners. So that ends the custodian guard turn two. Devastating stuff right across the board. It is looking like an absolute 
decimated bloodbath currently. The executioners taking on the Emperor's personal guardians. And this is what happens. So we will be right back with the Space Wolves command phase turn two. On to the Space Wolves command phase turn two. Nothing happening. Space Wolves going up to one CP. Uh, that's about it. So we will be right back after the Vilka Fenrika's movement phase turn two. For the Space Wolves turn two movement phase. Everything is kind of stayed down here ready to charge in to the Custodes. But Murderfang, believe it or not, has gone up to this objective to score some points against all of his will being ordered by the Wolf Lord to get out of battle and go and secure that objective for the Space Wolves. That will be it for the movement phase. So we'll be right back with the Space Wolves shooting phase turn two. On to the shooting phase for the Space Wolves. Where are we starting? Uh, Murder Fang will, Murder will be firing down into which Terminator? The closest Terminator. There you go. So Mirafang will be firing everything into the closest Terminator, starting with four Storm Bolters. Hitting on fives. And then... That's not bad for Mirafang. That's, that's good for Mirafang. <laughs> and then these are wounding on fives. Uh, nothing. And then D6 from the Flamer. Uh, four, auto-hitting. Wounding on a... Uh, four, sorry. So there's two, three wounds. AP is minus one from the heavy flamer so it's three ups on the armor i unbelievably fail two taking two damage taking one down to two wounds remaining on to the battle leader throwing a crack grenade into the injured terminator looking for a uh, two i believe and then wounding on a three uh it wounds so three up on the terminator he makes it. Now it's on to the battle at the Wolf Lord, who will be throwing the same thing. Hit on a two. Hits. Wounds on a three. Wounds. Saved. That ends the shooting over here. And that's everything for the Space Wolves. Uh, so we'll be right back with the charge phase. On to the charge phase for the Space Wolves. Uh, where are we declaring? Now, Mirafang does basically have to hold position as... Lloyd is thinking of scoring that active objective, which is a smart play, as much as Murderfang wants to murder. So it is just the Wolf Lord and the Battle Leader. Are they declaring both Terminators, or are they declaring That's one? Both so both are declaring both. Okay, so who do you want to start with? The uh, Wolf Lord jumps out. So Wolf Lord definitely makes it, and then the Battle Leader definitely makes it. So this is how we end up straight onto the fight phase. Can the Wolf Lord and the Battle Leader combined take apart the two Terminators? Who are we starting with? Uh, Wolf Lord jump pack. Wolf Lord. Okay, so he's going to get D3 extra attacks on top of his five. So he's going to get an extra three. That's the first time in four games I've rolled three extra hits to this guy. Well, well done. We'll I'm get you a so kick. <laughs> he's got a gold star on the fridge. <laughs> These are going to be hitting on twos. Okay, dropping one, and then these are wounding on threes. Uh, oh god, only dropping two there. So that's five. I need my four up invulnerables on the injured terminator. Uh, I drop that many. He is dead. On to the remaining battle leader. He's going to get three attacks plus one for shock assault, plus two for the lightning claws. So six attacks from the Wolfgar Battle Leader going into the remaining Terminator. These are hitting on twos. They all hit. These are strength four. This is toughness five. Wounding on fives. Rerolling any misses thanks to the lightning claws. Unbelievable roll in there. That is four. It's on to the Terminator who at AP minus one will need four three ups. Uh, sorry, AP minus two. So he needs four four ups. He is failing two. These are two damage, so he is going down two, two wounds remaining. Now it's a teeth and claws, three attacks. They are hitting twice, then these are strength five, so they're wounding on fours. No wounds. Now we are going on to the Alaris Terminator. He will be putting everything into the injured Wolf Lord, hitting on twos. All hitting. These are wounding on twos. Uh, dropping one, three wounds. You need four up invulnerables on the Wolf Lord. You are making two, failing one, spending a CP to re-roll, and still failing. This is D3 damage. Uh, it's only one that is taking him down to three wounds remaining. And with that, that will end the fight phase. So we'll be right back with the end of round scoring. 
So on to the end of round scoring. The Custodies hold the objective up here, thanks to a strategic fallback. And Murderfang, unbelievably <laughs> falling back and holding the active objective, scoring the Space Wolves 2, which will take the score to 2-1 to the Space Wolves, leading into turn 3. We will be right back for the Adeptus Custodies command phase, turn 3. But before we do, we need to roll for the active objective. It will be objective 1, which is in no man's land, currently down in the corner. So, Custodian Guard, Command Phase, again, nothing happening, just going up to 1 CP, so we'll be right back after the Movement Phase. After the Movement Phase, this is what's happened for the Custodies. The Custodian Guard up here have stayed still, uh, feeling that holding that objective is more important to the scoring of the game currently. The Wardens have moved down along with the injured Alaris Terminator. Then this Terminator has actually fallen back to hold this objective. Um, the thinking here was... The Space Wolves are going to have to come to me. It is the active objective. Hopefully I can hold back the tide. And hopefully the Wardens and the remaining Terminator there can charge into the back of Murderfang, causing some trouble. So we'll be right back with the shooting phase, turn three. So straight on to the shooting phase for the Custodian Guard. We're going to start with the Terminator there, who's going to fire everything into Murderfang. So start with the grenade launcher, D3. Uh, it's the one. It hits. Doesn't wound. And then it's going to be two shots from his castle and axe. They both hit. One wound. AP minus one, please. Uh, which you fail. So it's going to be two wounds taken off Murderfang. And then we're going to go straight on to the Wardens, who are also going to be putting everything into Murderfang. Okay, uh, I'm actually going to spend the stratagem for superior fire patterns. The Wardens will be making double the amount of shots. So it's going to be 16 shots going into... I'm thinking Murderfang. Let, let, let me have a little look. So after checking, I am in range uh, of the battle leader as well for rapid fire. So I'm going to put the eight going into battle leader and I'm going to put eight going into Murderfang. Start with Murderfang. These are hitting on twos. They are all hitting bar one. These are wounding on fives. Uh, that is one, two, three there. AP is minus one. Uh, so you're failing two, that's four damage. Uh, taking Murderfang down to two wounds remaining. And then the next eight are going into the battle leader. They're all hitting. These are wounding on a five. Uh, that is one, two, there, sir. So uh, you make them. Oh, that's annoying. So after that shooting, uh, it's just Murderfang remaining on two wounds. Nothing else can see. This guy fell back. So we will be right back with the custodian guard charge phase. Turn Three. Some tactical thinking. I really want to get the Wardens into both the Battle Leader and Murderfang to try and stop this inevitable charge into my Custodian, who's hopefully going to hold this objective. So we've measured it out. I need a 9. I have 1 CP, which I will spend if I fail this. Ah, that's an 8. My remaining CP. Ah, unfortunately I fail, so... That might have just cost me <laughs> dearly. So now all we've got left is the uh, Alaris Custodian who's going to declare a charge into the back of Murderfang. Uh, he better make that on a three. Just about making it there. Uh, the Custodian Guard like to uh, cut things fine. So we're going to go straight on to the fight phase and all that's really going to be able to fight is the Terminator there. We'll be putting everything into Murderfang. So these are going to be four attacks, hitting on twos. Uh, dropping one already. And then these are going to be strength eight, this is toughness seven, so wounding on threes. Ah, oh, it's a bad roll. So that is only one wound. AP is minus two, so five up, uh, which he fails. This is D3. I need this to be a four, uh, a three or above. Oh, why? Oh, Murderfang's alive on one wound. Murderfang, hitting on twos. Exploding sixes. No sixes. That's what you get for saying exploding sixes. <laughs> Uh, and then these are wounding on twos as well, re-rolling any misses. Re-rolling all the misses, that is such a bad roll. Okay, uh, that is still not the best. Uh, so after that, that is six. Oh, here we go. Six four ups on the Alaris Terminator. This is gonna be no problem. Don't worry about it. Ha! Uh, Oh, darn it. So that ends the Custodies turn three. We will be right back with the Space Wolves command phase. Turn three. Turn three command phase. Lloyd is going to go up one CP. And that is all that is happening. So 
We're going to be right back after a very important movement phase for the Space Wolves. So after the Space Wolves movement phase turn three, this is how we've ended up. Uh, the battle leader has moved up to stare down the Terminator. Uh, God, I forgot what he's called then. And then the Wolf Lord has flown over the back to hopefully take that objective from him. Okay, so guys, just remembered something and we do want to change it because it is a very tight game. Uh, Mirafang does have Duty Eternal. Luckily, he's still alive. Uh, he's taken most of the damage from two damage bolt weapons and he took one damage off the Terminator. So the one damage doesn't matter, but he will gain another three wounds now. Um, so he is remaining on four. Oh. So I better point that out because again, we don't want him dying. And then people comment and say, Mirafang should still been alive when I would have shot myself in the foot. So with Duty Eternal, we do apologize. It hasn't affected the game yet in any way no. as he is still alive. So it will be Mirafang on four wounds. It's gonna go straight onto the shooting phase of the Space Wolves. Mirafang is firing everything into the Custodian Guard. Four shots, hitting on fives, one hit, wounding on fives, uh, one wound. AP is nothing as we're in the Assault Doctrine. Uh, they will uh, make it on a two up. Now is his heavy flamer. Uh, one shot. Wounding on a four. No wound. Uh, that will end the shooting there. Uh, now it's just a couple of grenades from the battle leader. Uh, crack grenade. Hit. And uh, this is strength six. So it wounds. And then AP is minus one. So it is a three up. My god, my brain is dying. Oh no, okay, uh, this is D3 damage, roll it out, uh, two, he's dead. Unbelievable stuff here, after the shooting phase, the Terminator getting blown up by a crack grenade, now it's on to the charge phase, where do you want to start? Uh, murder fang into these, hoping oh. to get on the back. Hoping to wrap around the back, Lloyd likes a bit of a wrap. <laughs> <laughs> Dear God, this is downhill already. There we go, wrapping round for you guys at home, X-rated. So after that cheeky wrap round from Murderfang, the innu I mean, I was wondering how long till the innuendo started. Uh, it was round three for you all at home. Um, Lloyd, uh, we were having a chat and he said that the battle leader, he wants to get into the custodian guard. I reminded Lloyd that I have objective secured. He thinks Murderfang can cut through them, but just in case, he is going to attempt the charge. So an 11 inch charge from the battle leader. Oh my God, it was close, but no cigar. Like she said, oh, I needed an extra inch. And then Lloyd turned up with a five. <laughs> <laughs> After the failed five inch, uh, oh good God. We are going on to the fight phase for the Space Wolves. It is up to Murderfang. He's already cut through one squad of custodian guard. The wardens have seen their brothers been ripped apart. Can he do it again? Yes. So it's going to be eight attacks going into the Custodian Wardens. This is hitting on two sixes, will explode. Hey, it's, I think that's your first six in the Assault Doctor nice. in there. Oh. There we are. And, and that's in probably the last three or four games we've played. <laughs> now, these are going to be wounding on uh, twos, re rolling any misses. Oh, no need, they all wound. Seven four ups needed on the Custodian Wardens. I fail one, two, three, four, five. That is enough. These are flat three damage, I believe. Now I can shrug. So hang on. That is three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen damage. I need to do these. One at a time. Uh, do I need to do these one at a time? Damage. No, I don't. Yes. No, I'm doing them one at a time because my brain won't work. So I need to do five lots of threes. So the first one. Shrugs one, takes two damage, takes a custodian down to one wound. The second attack kills him. Now I need to roll three more. Third one kills. <laughs> two more. Kills. And now <sighs> I need to roll a single six. I don't. Oh, and that is the end of the Wardens. That is amazing. Murderfang will now consolidate beast. and he's doing what he does best. And <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> we'll be right back with the end of round scoring. So at the end of round scoring, uh, the active objective is now held by the Vilka Fenrika, scoring them another two. I own one objective, scoring me one. Taking the score to four points to two. I don't know if I can pull back with uh, two, two wardens. <laughs> oh, good God, please stop punishing me. Um, 
We're gonna have a little chat and we're gonna see if this goes into round three. So after the utter bloodbath, we have played this scenario a few times before. We actually filmed this for two games and we got corrupted files on both times when it came to editing. And I kid you not, every time it went to five rounds. The now game that makes it to the channel ends at the end of round three. And I just wanna point out, the Custodies won the last two in their debut and now the channel opener they have got absolutely mauled by the space well, I wanna say though, last two games I've had amazing showdowns. <sighs> then now you will never see it. You won't see such highlights as Unkillable Frost because he's dead. Um, you won't see Lloyd admitting that he listens, uh, thinks of me in bed. <laughs> that happened. <laughs> that was worrying. <laughs> so, I mean, we're not gonna put you through that torture. So we'll be right back with the end of game chat as the Vilka Fenrika take the win over the Custodian Guard. So welcome to the end of game chat. Uh, it is a win for the Vilka Fenrika. What a game of open war it was. We will go straight into our most useful and our least useful unit. Starting with the winner, it is Lloyd. Uh, what was your most useful unit? Murder Fang, without a doubt. Claws down, he was amazing. He was really, really good this year. Um, I mean, is, I actually really two, like seeing that. Two squad wipes. Two squad wipes, yeah. I think we were trying to work out, it's a, it's a point uh, of the Wardens and the Custodian Guard. He wiped out close to half my army, just and himself. Half the points of that. And half of that, probably even less than that, I think. Um, he's a really, really good model. I'm actually really happy to see him shine because I have used him in other games. He's very situational. There's not many games you take him because he gets shot to pieces. I take him every game. Regardless, like, I just have to roll yeah, but I roll the roller cool. Roller cool is definitely. I mean, if we were doing if we we're doing a competitive game, I've tried, and the issue with him is he's such a, a bullet magnet because people look at him and they want him. I take him and Redemptors with him as a bodyguard. One hundred percent. I I think again we're we're straying off this game a bit, but there are tactics with them. Librarians protecting them and tech marines feeding them. But anyway, for this game, he was. Brilliant. Um, my most useful were the Wardens. Um, they were really good. They almost survived his barrage with the Shrugs. Um, the Castellan Axes took through a squad of Aggressors almost, a full squad, and a squad of Assault Intercessors. I mean, they single-handedly wiped this end of the board up here. So I think That's true. I can't complain about them. Um, your least useful for the game? Grey Unguns, Melee Guns, who charged first turn. Yeah, was it? Again, they're not a bad unit at all. Grey Hunters, if anything, uh, when you compare them to Tactical Marines, Tactical Marines get to take the heavy weapons. Grey Hunters get a bit more of a speciality, plus the Wolfguard Battle Leader, um, who you can include, who can take Storm Shields, the it. They have other options, but in this game, again, yeah, uh, they were unfortunately my prime target to kill. Um, they're not squishy at all, but compared to the rest, they are. Yeah. But again, against any other army that isn't Custodies, they would have been absolutely fine. Uh, your uh, my least useful unit, the Custodian Guard. They're not bad uh, by any means. It just means in this game, Murderfang shredded through a whole squad, and the squad up in the corner, uh, they held on, but they didn't get a shine as much. And again, when you've got an army that only has four different units in it, it's and hard to pick. Going back to what we said earlier, the last two games where you got corrupted, they were your best units. Yeah, so th 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 that is... Honestly, how it has gone. The last two games, which unfortunately we'll never get to see now, uh, they were probably up there would be my best unit, and Murderfang didn't do anything. No. And then in this game, he has almost shredded my entire army, and my my Kassarin guard haven't got a shot. Who's the Thunderbolt was doing damage and work mm -hmm. then two games, and the Wolf Lord would jump back. And ironically, the Thunderbolt's yeah. getting torn to pieces this game. I reckon the Thunderbolt could have been in with a shout as one of your least useful units for the points they can't. But then again, the pack leader done work again. Yeah, he, he mainly held on. But again, um, it was a really close game, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I can't put Thunderbolts as a worst unit. I haven't had a game yet where they have. And also, in the last two games we played, they were by far Lloyd's most useful unit. So again, it's Warhammer. Yeah. You could turn up and an army that beats one army one day will be completely different. This is what I love about this game. When I first started collecting, I had two armies. I had Death Guard and I had Space Wolves. Every game we played, played out different. Um, there's not many games out there. People moan about things in Warhammer, and yes, there are unbalances, but when you have this many armies and this many units of balance, I reckon they're actually doing a pretty good job in 9th edition. So we hope you enjoyed today's game. Uh, we will see you next week. 
uh, where I think it's going to be the Tau taking on the Imperial Knights. It will be interesting to see high shooting armies fighting each other. So uh, we'll see you next week. It's bye from me. Bye, bye mother.